it's Nina from VR Focus. We are here with... Dave Jones from CloudGen. Tell me a little bit about this exciting new technology and what you think it could do for virtual reality. Uh, well, we're basically doing compute in the cloud. So we think um, what it could do for VR is all developers are after as much compute power as they can get on their devices. And so this kind of is a great way to supplement it and then unlock as much compute power as you need. So hopefully you can build the kind of games you really want to build. Uh, for me, the first game was we can do lots of destruction. So for me, for games for a long time, they've all been set in very static environments. And so destruction is a great kind of first use of technology which shows how dynamic the environments can be. Um, so where, how did the company come together? Where did you guys come from? What were you doing before this? We've worked together on games before. Um, we worked at a company called Real Time Worlds on games like Crackdown and APB. And it was kind of learnings from that and you know, um, making lots of online games and saying, well, you know, we want to kind of try some new technology so we can make much better online games. So we kind of came together from Cloud in Edinburgh a few years ago. Um, and been doing that ever since. So how big is your team? How long have you guys been developing this for? Uh, we've been developing this for about three years now. So it's been a you know, big kind of technology set of developments. Um, three years, we're about 22 people in Edinburgh. And what is the feedback that you're getting from game devs out there using the software? Uh, really good so far. So it's very early days. Um, we've only done a couple of you know, technology demonstrations so far. Um, we did um, Crackdown 3 with Microsoft, a great technology demonstration. And then we just did our own little kind of game jam they came from space, which we just started to show, and that's been getting a lot of good feedback as well. Can you tell me a little bit about they came from space and what, what is it exactly? Uh, well, what it is, they came from space was, um, it's kind of our use of the technology in, in relation to VR. So VR has big demands on your, your local rendering, 90 frames per second, mm -hmm. um, especially networked, which is really hard to do 90 frames per second, and networked playing. Um, so we kind of want to do a little kind of, you know, game jam, like put together our own game, a fun game, and that's where they came from space was. So it's also bringing um, normal PC players into the game as well. So it's kind of cross-play between VR, PC, or 90 frames per second with, you know, with VR as well. All right, so pitch it to me. There's two aliens, you've got several people who are on PC, and you can play it with VR and not with VR. Yes, that's right. So if you've got a VR headset, you get to play the main protagonist in the game, which is this alien overseer. He's basically come from another planet, and Earth to him is inconsequential. It's basically there to be harvested for energy and resources. So he beams down to the planet with his mothership and his entourage of wingmen, and they're just going to basically, you know, come just decimate, you know, the city, hoover it all up, and and return. That was the plan. Unfortunately, there was actually a second company from space who thought they also had the mining rights for Earth. So they turn up at the same time. So the first thing to settle was that little bit of, you know, difference there. So um, they actually and try to take each other out first, and then whoever wins gets to harvest the Earth. And how many players can you play in total? Uh, in the demonstration we have, it's 10. So it's two VR overseers and uh, they're, they're um, four wingmen each. But actually the game technology supports as many as you want. So, you know, it'd be great maybe to try one with, you know, one VR player and 100 wingmen or something. So, <laughs> <laughs> a lot <Wow>. of fun. <laughs> yep. um, and what is it about the cloud engine that you guys are using there for this specific game? Uh, heavy physics on the back end, so fully destructible, you know, entire cities. So um, we use it for that and make sure that's always at 90 frames per second. We also have another unique feature in that um, from the VR perspective, we know VR players, you know, might love to stream their game, especially because they're um, very social about it. You get to see their head movements, their ha hand movements, their talking. Um, so we knew it's hard sometimes for VR players to stream from their perspective. It's not great. Um, so we actually gave them a cloud GPU as well. So it doesn't affect their local performance. They can actually render and have complete control of a, another camera um, that can follow them like on a selfie stick and they, they have you know, different ways to control it. Um, and then stream from that. So they can be playing the game, they can be talking to the other PC players, they see them from their perspective, they can turn around and talk to their audience through their you know, selfie camera. So we think that's kind of very neat and new technology as well. Narcissism is encouraged here. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> About this destruction, I saw a little bit of it. So you can take sort of all of these buildings that you destroy and all of that will still exist when you play. So you can use it as... Yeah. So complete dynamic world, because the whole game runs on, on, on the cloud, um, it just remembers everything. There's no need like maybe single player games where you kind of, you do some destruction, you turn around, you look back and it, it's all been cleaned up for performance reasons. You, our, our worlds are you know, more than 100,000 dynamic objects, and they, they're there all the time, they're fully persistent. And this can run from any cloud engine, or from any cloud? From any cloud system. supplier, yes. Yeah. So we can run AWS, um, Azure, Google Compute. So yeah, we're completely cloud agnostic as well. 
And um, what are the next steps for the game and what you guys want to do? Uh, we're basically going to kind of, you know, keep working on it internally. We have lots of great ideas for the amazing powers we can give the VR players in this game with so much compute. So we're going to keep developing, you know, um, new powers to give the alien overseers and bring in more players. And just basically based on feedback we get, you know, decide, you know, which, which kind of direction to take the game as well. And you think that a lot of Twitch streamers are willing to take the package, and is this something that you want to sell separately? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So the the, the, the Twitch streaming camera camera system, that's something we, we could, we'd love to see, you know, developers taking use of that for VR, even for non-VR, just having, you know, a great kind of spectator camera that maybe just a normal streamer could use as well. Fantastic. So where can we find out more information about what you guys are doing? Uh, really, just come to the website, you know, cloudgen.com, and we're starting to do a lot of, you know, kind of weekly Twitch streams and... Uh, podcasts, you know, just updating technology week on week as, as we go. Fantastic. Great. Thank you Great. so much. Thank you.